What's up everybody? Welcome to another edition of Mr. Device. New intro later on. I just couldn't, I, I felt too lazy to do a new intro. But yes, I'm still going to do Mr. Device. Alright, so let's get to some of your questions. You know what? I'm going to answer some of these questions. Some of you people sent questions to my email. Please send them to uh, my YouTube inbox and in the in the subject title write Mr. Advice so that I can know if it's a question for Mr. Advice or just a personal question. You know what I'm saying people? Okay, so let's get to your questions. Okay, first question comes from Che and Salinas. It's a weed question. Okay, he asked me, hey what do you think about the use of marijuana? Have you ever smoked it? Should it be legalized? Give me your opinion. I myself think it should be legalized. I myself think it should be legalized. Should it even be considered a drug? When it's, when it's something that grows from a seed? Ancient Hindus used the herb for medicinal and spiritual purposes. Marijuana helps me relax and unveil hidden thoughts I got in my mind that otherwise I would never have thought of. It makes me look at a world in a whole new perspective when I use it. You know what, you're right about that. Let me say this. Yeah, I used to, you know, I used to here and there. Everybody makes a big fucking stink, a big fucking deal about marijuana. Marijuana is not fucking, it's not that harmful, okay? Now let me tell you what, fuck, what is fucking harmful, what will fuck you up. Crystal meth, crack cocaine, okay? LCD, fucking ecstasy pills that fucking put holes in your brain about this fucking big. That's, that's crazy shit. But weed is really not nothing. Should it be legalized? Of course I, I think weed should be legalized. I don't do it now anymore because I guess I'm my job and um, you know I gotta keep my system clean okay so yeah marijuana should be legal I, I think so it's not really causing I never like I said it's not really causing too much trouble I never heard of anybody getting into, into a car accident because they, they were driving high more people are killed in drunk driving accidents than by someone driving marijuana driving under the influence of marijuana but like I said I, I really I don't do it at all just that 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 time I happen to have some I'm keeping it real with you people you know I don't like to do it too you know I don't like to do it but it just sometimes it helps you think deeply but nothing it's nothing good I wouldn't recommend it all right people but yeah hey dude if you love to smoke weed or whatever hey do your thing dog it's not like it's that dangerous anyway all right hold on Okay, Denver Broncos 0311 asked me if I ever boxed. Mm, not really. I, I watch boxing here and there, but I'm not. It's not a sport I like to. I enjoy. So no, I don't box. Dynasty era God. What do I think about the two man power trip back in 2001? Huh? Sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe I was too lazy to research your question. I'm sorry. Lil Ish4 asked me what do I think about the WWE draft and the $1 million giveaway. I already made a video about that, so check that out, Lil Ish. Alright. Okay. Serious question here. Renegade Billy 2007 asked me. Okay. So I have a problem. And and here's that. I have a problem that's going on at my home with, with my father. My father drinks a lot of vodka every day. And when he c gets home from work and on the weekends... Wait, my father drinks a lot of vodka every day when he gets home from work and on the weekends. He keeps falling down and hurting himself. He falls down like six or seven times. When me and my mom go over to help him, he'll get angry. The reason why he drinks so much is because of his family. He doesn't have a good relationship with his father at all. They all hate each other for reasons I don't even know. My father also went to the Vietnam War when he was just 17 years old. And now my dad just drinks every day and is getting to the point where he's falling down. And I'm afraid that one day he might just re really injure himself. I love my dad, but I hate to see him drunk because it changes him to a different person. My dad is a really good guy if you met him in person. So do, you, do you have any advice for me? I just don't know what to do anymore. All right. Let me say this. Yeah, a lot of these Vietnam vets, a lot of these war veterans, they've seen so much crazy shit. Or, or they're in so much pain, I guess, with uh, not only because not only of their war, but for personal reasons. Like this guy, your dad. You know, he doesn't have a good relationship with his father. So he drinks a lot to, to, you know, numb away the pain, drink away the pain. You guys got to talk to him. You guys got to get together as a family and, and talk to him. Let him know that it's hurting, you know, it's hurting you and your mother. But you see, alcohol, 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 fuck. Alcoholism is, you know, it's, it's, it's addicting. You know, 
drinking and all that to dick to me i don't drink a lot i don't drink a lot at all so in social situations i have a couple of heinekens here and there but i don't like to i don't like to drink strong stuff because i know that when i get older it's going to affect you it's going to affect your liver and stuff like that i don't know take him to an aaa meet and get him some help i don't know um you guys got to talk to him to set up something i don't know maybe a church gathering i, I don't know you know but then again, we really don't need religion to fix a person, I understand. You know, we all have different views on that. And let me say this, I don't like to talk too much about religion and all this because it just turns into a big fucking mess and stink. You know, but I do respect everybody's views and all that. Whatever you are, that's cool. Except for Scientology, because that's fucking whack. And then you got the worship of rats in India and all that. And whatever. So yeah, man, just hope you, hope you do better there, Renegade Billy. Alright, okay, Cletus, Cletus asked me, I've known this girl named Natalie for about five or six months, and I really don't, and I really like her. I don't know if she likes me, but she's even gone to my house, gone out of her way to sit next to me. We've talked for hours on the phone or on MySpace. Uh, the problem is that she has a boyfriend who's one of those gangbanging fools that doesn't really like her. It's funny because I text this girl the fuck okay it's funny because i text this girl 1000 times she texts me back don't worry but i'm not i'm not even sure if she likes me i just say i just say i like other people she even calls me her big brother because she trusts me with anything but next year she might be moving to another school so i won't be able to see her again i'm asking for advice if i should just forget about her and move on or if i should really try my chances with this girl if she dumps her boyfriend help okay listen it, it's obvious that she likes you if she's coming to your house let me tell you something a girl coming to your house on her free will like that, that that shows a little something. She talks to you a lot. She's probably feeling you and all that. You see, usually those girls that have those gang-banging types of boyfriends, you know, the gang-banging types of boyfriends, treat them like shit. You know, treat them like a fucking dirty-ass hyena or hyena or however the fuck you say it. But some girls like being, being treated like shit. You know, I'm, I'm surprised, you know, I'm not even, I'm not surprised that she's still with this gang-banging boyfriend of hers. Because like I said, some girls, it's funny, they, they just like being treated like shit. That's the truth. You know? But she's going to be moving out soon, right? Dude, if she's going to be moving out soon, what's the point of building up a relationship with her? Or, uh, you know, stressing this too much? If she, You said what? She's going to be moving to another school, so you won't be able to see her again. There's plenty of girls out there, bro. But keep in co contact with her. Keep in touch with her. You never know. Maybe in a couple years, you might cross paths again and... Fall in love and live happily ever fucking after. Okay, Clemente1395 asked me, what do I think about the Nibiru, Nibiru conspiracy and the coming of Planet X? I've heard about this, the whole reptilian race. It sounds a little far-fetched and it sounds like something out of a science fiction novel. I've read the long essays on it and they do make some good points. Planet X, what's Planet X? Is that, that, is that another planet in our solar system that supposedly has the same temperature as earth that's what i heard i heard that they have air there oxygen trees water what do i think of it that's pretty cool like i said i know that there's i know i would bet my life on it that there's other um life forms on other planet the nibiru conspiracy the reptilian race mm, i don't know it sounds a little bit too far-fetched like i said it doesn't sound believable but then again you never know right Oshiv, yeah, Oshiv asked me what to think about the psychopathic riders. Are you talking about ICP and Twisted? When they formed that underground duo psychopathic riders and they borrow beats from famous songs? I got a couple of their, I got their CDs. Dope shit, dope shit. Salad Bowl Sickness asked me about North Korea and legal bondage in Asian poor places. That's going to be a separate rant about that. I want to talk about North Korea. A few people don't know what the hell is going on in North Korea. Oh boy. Wait till you find out the horrors that go on there. There's a lot of horrible things that go on in North Korea. But that's for a separate video because I can go on for eight minutes about that. Ozhiv asked me what to think about all these Tupac is alive videos on YouTube. Oh, okay. Another question from you. You know, there's so much fucking bullshit on YouTube talking about that Tupac is still alive. Is Tupac alive? Look at the last couple seconds of his song. Listen, Tupac is dead. Can we stop this? He's not living in fucking Cuba. That's one of the things I heard. I heard that he's living in fucking Cuba. He's not in Cuba, dude, okay? Tupac is dead. 
end of story. Let's end this conspiracy. NJ973201 asked me what's my favorite anime English dub company, Funimation or 4Kids? Yeah, Funimation is much better. They, they got great voice acting with Dragon Ball Z and um, Full Metal Alchemist. 4Kids, from what I'm hearing, 4Kids is removing videos that criticize their fucking company. You know what? Fuck 4Kids.